I use HMR to make rib cut guide. Measure and mark with length 55 mm. Then, I cut using my ultimate track saw. I will add mini T-track. Measure mini T-track using vernier caliper. Measure T-track's position on HMR's cut, make sure the position is right to the center. Make slot to place mini T-track using router bit bottom cleaning. Put mini T-track on the slot made before. Check using ruler, make sure the surface is flattened as equal as HMR's surface. Measure HMR's cut with length 800 mm. Then, cut using meter saw. Cut HMR with width 60 mm. Use the first HMR's cut as a template to make slot. Cut HMR with length 265 mm using meter saw. Make a slot with depth 5 mm. This slot is used for locking position. Place the first HMR's cut on the slot. Make sure the position is exactly fitted. Measure the second HMR's cut to make hole for handle. Then, I using router bit corner rounded to smooth the edge of the hole. Cut the edge of HMR with angled 45 degrees using meter saw. Measure and mark to make hole for locking the edge guide's position. Check using speed square, and make sure the angle is 90 degrees. Drill using small drill bit 3 mm to mark. Then, drill the mark using drill bit 6 mm.
Assemble the parts using bolt, if the holes are fitted, the bolt will easily putted. Try to reverse the position, if it fitted, the bolt also easily putted. Add T-nut on the edge guide. Assemble all the parts using bolt, then check using speed square, and make sure the angle is 90 degrees. I use HMR with width 145 mm and length around 300 mm. Put circular saw on the HMR, then, measure and mark to make slot. Don't forget to use respirator mask. Make slot using router with depth 8 mm. Then, sander the slot made before. Take circular saw, put paper tape on the bottom of it, to mark easily. Drill the mark using drill bit 6 mm. Place circular on the slot made before. Use circular base as a template. Cut the mark using jigsaw. Drill the mark using drill bit 6 mm. Then, I drill little more using drill bit 8 mm for foot bolt. Place the bolt on the slot, use hammer to place it right. Use super glue to lock bolt on the slot. I cut the excess HMR because I only need length 265 mm. Place circular on the slot. Put bolt M6 pan head to lock circular saw. Cut HMR with length 145 mm and width 72 mm. Put the HMR's cut to make slot for placing the aluminium. I router the edge with angle 45 degrees. Use epoxy glue for assemble the aluminium into the slot. Measure and mark to make holes. Then, drill the mark using drill bit 8 mm. I use bolt 8mm into mini T-track, but it doesn't fit it.
so, I need to grinder it to make it fitted. Use epoxy glue to assemble the mini T-track into the slot. Assemble all parts together. I give thin carton to give little gap for smooth movement. Then, use glue and nail gun to assemble all the part together. Sander the bottom base of jig. Give wax on all the parts. Measure and mark before cutting. Set the circular saw on the mark made before. Then lock using star knob M8. I set the rib cut guide for left handed mode. The result looks perfect. Now reverse the edge guide's position to set up for right-handed mode. It's comfortable for all position, both right and left handed mode. Depends on what's mode you like. The results are both perfect and the angle 90 degrees.